Welcome to our Thanksgiving 2019. This year we are going to be doing a fully vegan Thanksgiving meal and I just wanted to share that with you guys because, I don't know, we've never seen what that looks like so let's see if you guys have. One, two. for a quick run through of how I veganize these recipes. So, mac and cheese. Basic mac and cheese sauce here, you can look it up online. Potatoes, carrots, nutritional yeast. I used cashews for my fat, garlic powder, and a little bit of some kind of acidity. Boil it all together, blend it, pour it over pasta, and then I made some croutons to go on top, and I subbed, subbed out the butter for olive oil to make the croutons. Next recipe, green bean casserole, and I still have fried onions to put on top. Green bean casserole, I made a basic mushroom gravy, I caramelized some onions, I threw a few bags of frozen already blanched green beans, mixed it all together, I'm topping it with french fried onions, baking it. Super easy to make vegan. The gravy I used, I made a roux with flour, I got my mushrooms super like caramelized, I added an onion, I added in garlic, and veggie broth. Super easy, super delicious. Moving on. Sweet potato casserole. Pre-boiled my sweet potatoes, got them for tender, added in maple syrup, and added in dollops of coconut oil and a little bit of salt, and I am actually gonna be topping these with marshmallows. I could not find vegan marshmallows. They do have gelatin in them. So yeah, my bad on that one, guys. Potato salad. I just did not add egg, which was super simple to do. I made a vegan mayonnaise with the juice of a can of chickpeas. This is called aquafaba. So I made that and I added in celery, onion powder instead of fresh onion because fresh onion will get this like sulfury taste. So I like onion powder instead. And then I added in tons of different spices. I added in garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. Delicious. All right, country classic, collards. So to the collards, to get that traditional smoky flavor, I added in smoked paprika and a little bit of liquid smoke. I did add in a little bit of brown sugar to help with um, the little bit of bitterness that green, these grains tend to have. I added in salt, I added in onion, and I added, what else did I add? Oh, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. All right, and if you have ever been with a bunch of Northerners for Thanksgiving or Christmas or any holiday, you know there's gonna be something boiled. So, this is a classic for us, and that is just rutabaga and carrots and I'm just boiling them in salt water and all I'm gonna do at the end is mash them and add in a little bit of salt and a little bit of um, coconut oil. And that is it for those. And then of course, with every Thanksgiving meal, you have to have mashed potatoes. And this is the same gravy that I made that goes on the green bean casserole. So these are some basic staples. I'm not sure what everybody else is bringing, but I wanted to show you just quickly how I veganize some of the main side dishes. This is a song about transformation, water into wine When you've been holding up expectations, money, love and time You could claw into the colors of the flag you flew so high Or you could sink into your seat, pretend you never changed your mind The mac and cheese? Yeah, the vegan yeah. mac and cheese. what was your favorite? My favorite things for Thanksgiving all the time is like green bean casserole, stuffing, and I love the mac and cheese as well. What else do we have? 
call the collars. The collars are super good. And yes. another one of my all time favorites is Nana's pasta. I don't know what you call it. <laughs> the mashed potatoes and gravy. Yes. And the collar. Oh, and the collar. The gravy was good too. <laughs> what was your favorite, babe? Collards. Oh. Collards and the gravy. That was my favorite too, for sure. My favorite part was some lady brought a salad that she put an hour and a half worth of work oh into it, but I think the collards beat it. <laughs> the salsa. <laughs> cranberry. It was amazing. I love it? cranberry salsa. Never my had it. My favorite daughter in law <laughs> made the salsa and it was so good. It's me. <laughs> That's her. Favorite part, uh, I'd say the mac and cheese. Cycles out of time and any pride that keeps you stationary. To step aside. Have I said? Yay! Yeah. All right, it is the next day. I totally forgot to film my outro last night. We were just like, so we were well, honestly, we were all just having so much fun and. I always forget when I'm filming stuff like this to just sit down and do an outro. So this is my outro the next day with my cup of coffee. I'm trying to recover because I was up a lot last night. We didn't go to bed till late. We had a full day yesterday. Our first Thanksgiving, or our first time hosting Thanksgiving was a complete success. I don't think anybody missed not having meat, to be honest, or even dairy products, to be honest. Um, there were a few things that we ended up getting snuck in there like the marshmallows um uh we did have somebody bring a pea salad that had ranch in it but honestly we cut down on so much that it is what it is we were so thankful we loved it so much thank you guys so much for coming along to see what our thanksgiving looks like thanks again for watching make sure to subscribe leave me a comment if you have any questions about the recipes I did not write any of these recipes down I do not have any full recipes but I would have no problem working with you guys to help you figure out a good recipe and replacement for the ones that we did for our vegan Thanksgiving 2019 mm, 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 mm. I'm still pumped about it so anyway until next video peace